had excruciating knee pain that had been misdiagnosed as rheumatoid arthritis. And in December 13th of 2013, I finally went to Miriam Hospital only to find that I had lung cancer. They went in and removed 80% of my right lung. My uncle was diagnosed in October of 2013, and it was my mother's last brother, surviving brother. I was diagnosed her daughter in December of 2013. It was the worst time of our lives because my mother was losing her brother, and now she was probably gonna lose her daughter. I will never forget the day she walked into my office. She presented with pain in her joints. She had lung cancer, and the thing that she had was pain in her joints. Who would ever think that would happen, right? I met Dr. Tabor for the first time as my oncologist, and I was so afraid. And I had this brown-haired, brown-eyed, beautiful young girl walk in the office, and I was thinking, oh my God, she looks 12. <laughs> She got to be able to save me. <laughs> Little did I know that she was my angel. She held my hand that day. She told me, you will not be alone through this journey. And I never was. She was by my side through everything. I didn't say to her, we're providing palliative care to you. It was just something, I try to just integrate it with my lung cancer patients. So. We talked about things that were important to her. What are your goals? You came in with all these worries. What are those worries? How can we help you to resolve those? What's important to you? I was at the end of my treatment. In February of 2015, I went for a routine scan. It actually turned out that it had spread to my left lung. And that was really scary because I had already had 80% of the right lung removed and I just didn't know what would happen with the left. When I was diagnosed a second time, we really didn't know that I would survive. She went out and she made her funeral arrangements. That was important to her. It really helped her to get rid of a lot of her anxiety to do that. She wasn't giving up. She wasn't saying, I don't want to fight this. It was just something in the back of her mind that bothered her, and she felt like she had a safe place to talk about it. I knew that my husband and my parents wouldn't be able to do that if something happened to me. So I talked to Dr. Tabor and Kathy and Jen about it. And they brought my family in and had a talk with them. And I left that office that day with my husband and my parents. And I went to a funeral parlor and I pinned my funeral. A lot of people confuse palliative care with hospice. Palliative care is a specialized service that patients can receive from the day they are diagnosed with a serious illness. They can get any treatments they would want to get to try to attack their illness, to treat their cancer, but they also get that extra added level of support. Hospice care is really end-of-life care. It's when someone has said, you know, these treatments that I've tried, they're not working for me anymore, and I just want to focus on quality of life. I always say it has nothing to do with dying, and most people don't know enough about palliative care to realize that it's everything to do about living. They show you how to survive with this disease because it's not an easy process. Research has shown that palliative care increases quality of life, but surprisingly, palliative care also has been shown to increase length of life. All things equal, just providing that extra layer of support, people can live longer. Currently, I'm the only board-certified physician in palliative care at the Miriam in the Cancer Center. I recently have had the pleasure of adding a nurse practitioner to our team, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. Palliative care is the magic of what we do. You walk into a room and you're told you have cancer. A million things go through your head, and that's different for everyone. 
Palliative care is meeting that person where they are, finding out what's important to them and working with them, making sure whatever they do helps them to get to their goals with the best quality of life possible. I am in remission at this point. Um, I have been in remission for just a little over two years now. But for me, the turmoil still stays because every time I have a scan done, that fear comes back. Dr. Tabor and my palliative care team are there to, to help me through and they guide me and they send me to the people that I need to see that it's gonna help me. And sometimes it's just to hold my hand to talk to me. And it has nothing to do with my lung cancer. It's them being my palliative care team and my friends. And I do hand massage. And I heard today was your last day. It is. So I think you need a nice hand massage. I would love that. Would you love that? They're great here. They're wonderful. I don't know how they do it every day. It's hard. It's a hard job. And they're just amazing.